What's up, internet? Hey, well, you know, welcome back to more part of Just East Town. Last time we found out that Lamar has been attacked by someone. We don't know who, but apparently they hit an ice cream in the forehead. But, you know, can't see. That kind of plays a part, so now we're just like, who, who could have done this? Why could they do it? Attack! Just after I spoke with you in the bunch of the dressing room, I sent someone approaching. I thought it might be someone come to see me, but they said nothing. When I went to the tent to my dressing room, you were hit. I knew, that very moment, I knew, the assailant was trying to kill me. Ah! It was looking for me, the first ball did not knock me out. I turned and ran for the stage. Someone was chasing me, I could hear footsteps. Yet I reached the stage first. Why the stage? I heard her matron speak of talking. The Pouton stage area was off, they said, for electrical work. Ah! Darkness is my hour. There was a Comcast case near the stage. That is where I hid. So the assailant couldn't see you. But in the case, I afraid I passed out. Well, that sounds like a weird close call. Okay. Who do you think the assailant was? Do you have any idea who it might have been? Unfortunately, no. Whoever it was, they had not said a word. Too bad. Yeah, but I consider that I was shot high on the forehead. I must conclude that whoever hit me was taller than I am. The point. She's sharp. And you're much taller than I am. You're about tall as Apollo. So that means it was like a hard though. Probably a man. Could it be him? But why would anyone attack you, Lamar? They attacked me nasty this too. And to her I gave this her and to I give you. I do not know. Hmm. Ah, uh, Lamo, I actually wanted to, to ask you about this. Do you know what this is? This... This is what? This is the Charles of Kelly. It's that girl, the thing he was after. He was after? You know, his secret identity as an undercover agent. So that's what he was doing. You... Me? You know what? Yes, I know, of course. This must be... A Bulgarian cocoon. A rather a convincing record of their art. I haven't heard of a Bulgarian cocoon before. Why would he be carrying this around? Is this some kind of souvenir? I wonder. Tell me about this cocoon. Well, uh, they call it Bulgarian. It must be only found in Virginia. The children all in Virginia know of these. It's a cocoon, so do you get so funny? I do not know the details, I am sorry to say. I thought she said all in Virginia knew of these. There's one fact I do know about the cocoon, though. So being all in Virginia now. What's that? The cocoon. They are not to be taken out of the country. <laughs> if someone does and is caught, they will be put to death. To, to, to death? Why? I do not know. Yet, if Interpol was a pole, I'm sure there is a good reason. But this is just a piece of plastic. I was carrying a replica before looking for the real deal. That's my best guess. So that's what he was up to. Tracking down Virginia cocoon smuggling. Smuggling? 
smuggling. It seems I was mocked. Mocked? I chased me with the hearty popularity of my song. I began to travel around the world. Ah, so you could have both put those Virginia cocoons with you. On my trips, yes. That's probably the suspicion. And this is a child of police eyes on the cover agent to look into it. Virginia is a small Celtic country. Not many are people venture into the world outside. If that's why they suspected you. But Mr. Charles was in Virginia, was he? He was into poor agent with me. What about? There must be some reason why Virginia doesn't want those cocoon getting out. So he's scary enough to get into poor old boy. Huh? Like what? How could such a tiny ball of fat cause such a commotion? Cocoons, lovely. And there's the Charles had Lamar Mark. Hmm. I couldn't be her. Huh? There's one other person I need to talk to. Thank you for talking to us, Lama. What's the least I could do? Actually, I have another request. If it is in my power, I need a return to someone who speaks to Dean. Apollo? Won't you come with us if you're well enough? I see. Yes. Yes, of course. Shall accompany you. Where are we going? Come on, Trudy. We're about to get to the bottom of this. July 9th. Detention Centre. Visitors will. Marty. We came to talk to you about the case. Marty. Could you interpret for us, Nama? Yes. Marty. I'd like to talk to you about when we first met. When we still thought you were blind. Now we know the truth. You can see, right? I was completely fooled myself. Machi. Is there no, another secret you've been hiding from us? Wait, Mr. Turney. What do you mean by secret? I do believe that secret as well. <laughs> we need this lighter. Take that! You know what this is? This is true. I know the uh, translation don't understand that. I know what wrong, that wrong evidence. Okay. <laughs> uh, fine, Kuku. Not the stickers. You know something about this, don't you? Ah! Hey, you got an action! Big one! It needs like Richard to see that. Pucky, didn't. To see I uh, to see people on Thursday. Not that we wouldn't need any cheese to see that one. It's a Teddy. Please tell me what's this about. Now Mark, please interpret. Very well. I know you know something about this by your action. If you won't tell me, I might have to give it to the prosecution. And have them look into it. He asks you to wait. Do not be so hasty. Marty? Do you know everything? Yes, everything. About sort of. Have not tell her about her? Very well. Let's engage him. Tell me about this cocoon. What is this cocoon anyway? The cocoon, the silk, is a potent core. A cure? Must cure some disease. It's a cure for incuritis. A uh, cure for incuritis? That's a dumb name for speed. Did Elliot name it? But if it's a cure, why keep it in Virginia like that? Just think of the wise here by seeing um, the medicine. I do not understand that the wheezes myself. Okay, well, we think you know what it is. A cure. 
And this is a challenge was after Cocoon Snuggles. It was Maki. Maki, you weren't. He couldn't be a snugger. He's so little. Oh, you're only 15. I'm sort of a magician, aren't you? Well, that's true. I am sort of a magician. She said so Oh, to have a call on that and scorchy thing. Oh wait, there is a scorchy thing! Yes, 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 yes. Now, Maki, are you a smoker? He, he won't tell me. As he plays fine, now he plays dumb. I wonder. Do you think he brought a cocoon to sell it to someone? Marty, we did bring one into the country. Was he planning to make a deal for its sale? I can't go home. Can't go home? I can't go home to Virginia. I do not want to go home. Depends for taking a cocoon for Virginia is death. That's right, it's punishable by death. About the case. It's about the case. You could tell us about this to the child's death? This meeting's over. Duran! Ugh! What you mean? Visiting hours aren't over yet. There's a call for Marky from the Virginia Embassy. This meeting is over. Sorry. Just give us five more minutes. We can call them back after that. Sorry, no go. Call them, Planner Boy, we're leaving. Duran, wait! I never liked you. Evil of you. Huh? I never liked you too. Darn it! We were so close, he was about to tell us. Hey, Apollo. You know, we'll just hear what Marky had to say. Apollo! And there can only be one reason why. Why is everyone annoying me? Because you're the stool in this adventure. I hate being the stool. Oh, sorry. This is it. I know who I'm after now. It all happens tomorrow. In court. You know what this means. Continue on. <laughs> because we're only 12 minutes in. Screw it. Save. July 10th, 9.49 a.m. This is called Defendant Army Number 2. Well, this is it. Today's day all goes down. And then there was yesterday. This meeting's over. Sorry. Just give us one more minute. We can call them back after that. Sorry. No go. Come on, piano boy. Release. Go on, wait! I never liked you. Even you. Huh? Darn it, we were so close, he was about to tell us. Hey, Apollo. No one to hear what Marky had to say. And I think I know why. Time to bring down a little justice. Eek! What was that? He is her, but unseen. Who's that talking? Oh, no. We aren't going to leave. You see the door like an admiral, I'm a smuggle, no You, you are the witness today, are you? Go for that. Ha ha ha! A presumptuous presumption. How could I stand to you upon the stand? Why, well, my secret would be free for the fucking. I might tell you how to sign autographs. That's why I tend to be staying hidden for the entire day. Oh, uh, what's fancy magic? Indeed, I will jump upon a statue and stretch myself to the next town over. Or oh, go, a word of warning. Warning? What? A grand grandma, grandma recites the rules of all I have, that I have to. Do not forget this truth. A grandma? A spell, a sorcery, a great illusion. This truth is, though it pains to part so. I need to get in line for the ticket. Farewell! And there it goes. He sort of seems happy about that illusion thing. Oh, bigger illusions are the better, but I'm a magician. You can't pull a show without one. 
Illusion is always a thick goal to win a map. Usually involves cup, ring the arrows, or the Eiffel Tower, anything weird. So he was talking about what he saw at the concert. Now I'm all disappearing at. I thought you Gavin exposing the car. I wonder what he meant by the root, being at the root of it all that has happened. Well, it's about time. Shall we go? Ah, excuse me, sir. Y yes? The schedule started time for the trial has been changed. The trial will not be convincing until 10 30 a.m. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ha? Did something happen? This isn't the first. It was a rise of George's request. Some urgent personal business. Way, I bet he stayed up too late last night watching courtroom dramas. I'm already visiting the offices again. The hospital? And he was mentioned that the Chief Justice's son is done well. Apparently, his condition is worsening. Wasn't considering at this point. The Chief Justice's son? Oh, that's right. Then yesterday morning, the judge said he had to go to space about the trial. There's an article about it in the newspaper. Be careful about yourself. Alright. Let's add that to the court. In court? Well, how about that before? Oh. I'll let you read that marker for us, I suppose. Just leave the TV guys to me. Let's say she's conscious. Try not to lose the page of the bunnies if you can. July 10th, 10.30am. This record call rule number. Free. Ah. Sorry. I have a drink. I'm not afraid to use. Ahem. <laughs> My apologies for the name. Court is now accessible. Sorry, um, how do I you say his name again? Must be too bad. I said thanks, Prince Nardo. Why? His shot. It's his trial date. Defense is prepared, Your Honor. The prosecutor is ready to rock. It is something wrong, Your Honor. No, oh, well, yes. It's just I've been friends with this creature since we were students. It's easy to see him go through at such a difficult time. Ain't your eyes, was it? The artist said there was no, is no known cause. Fair judge, let me say we all on to I feel your pain. But now is not the time for tears. The time for law. Indeed. We were thought of quite the injury. Just yesterday. I asked him for about that number. IPXS31406. Did you register on this number? There's one man no chance. I should look into that for us. To take a croissant. It's a great help. No, oh, oh, no problem at all, Your Honor. I've been heading it out. Hold it. Wait. That voice just now. It was him. I am sure it. It was him. That voice I heard talking to Mr. Chow. Heard the gunshot fire. It was him. It was Mr. Duran. No way. Crisis said say so ending. Who would have thought the land would crash start in the season quick anger? As a suspect. Oh, I hate season quick anger. They are the worst. Just when you think, oh, the season's at all is about to be fierce, I get this girl have a sassy cut ass and nope! It turns out someone this Z is dead at the end. It's super annoying, and I hate it. And I really want to watch the second season, just to know what happens next. I feel like I'm talking about this channel. Yeah. Anyway, weird thing beside. I ask the prosecutor to walk into this night. Please don't call your findings. 
the town concerned is a member of the Iron Bat, the Gautineer. He is also a detective. He is called charges serious indeed. Yet after investigation, I found no cause to alter the arcade or file new charges. And your reason is? But you were head for head. He has an intestinal alibi. Alibi? Let us review the facts again, shall we? The concert held on the night of the shooting was in free except. Free except? What kind of foot is that? The governor has ripped off the stick. Ripped off the stage, feeling the first step. For the second set, I'll skip the set of stage. In performance, I'll be myself more. Well, that's fine. I could not read all that. The shooting in the dressing room, however, took place during the first set. Mama and the friend and Maki Tabai had left the stage at that point, and the Galneas were ready to this is when the two shots rang out a single cry. Shots heard by Detective and Luke Magnus. And Annabelle, you heard them too, right? Sure did. Furthermore, Lamar herself witnessed the moment of the cry. Well, that's as soon as they she heard the moment of the cry. But she claimed to have uh, the child and this just sounds talking. But that's impossible! Huh. A detective's concern was. Precisely, Detective Kassan was on stage getting his groove on, no less. <laughs> Excuse. Bala, a perfect hour. Hmm. Does the fence have anything to add to this? It's true, when I heard that gun, sir, he must have been on stage. So there's something here that doesn't quite add up. It appears the fence has no objection. I think we can see say that Sexy Kassan's ally have been the north. It seems that Lamar was sadly mistaken. The test cannot be true. Very well. Of course, if we disregard the test on, then I see no evidence uh, keep us to security advantage. If indeed, there are no objections. Uh oh, a poll, if he cares to it now. <sighs> but possibly a gathered case of their time. Lamar might have been lying to text Maki. How can we rely on her test on? Wait, what about Yeti and uh, that said test? About the case. What about the case? Well, tell us about the next the house death. This meeting's over. To Han. <sighs> Marty was trying to tell us something. I know it. To me, the best thing to do is action under oath. Very well, the court dines to the defender. Oh, uh, what was his name again? Objection! Your Honor! That is not his name. Oh, oh no, no, that wasn't it. It was something like my script. Oh. Mr. Justice? <laughs> Your Honor, they call you Kurt a budget. I would like to call another witness. Exactly who else you need to have from? A witness who, until now, has not given a chance to speak in court. Because he doesn't speak English. Not me. I do. Defended, defense court defended. Knock it to die to the test. But what? But he doesn't speak English. We use an interpreter. Interpreter? I'm the you to look out for. I only speak a few English. I said, I love you, and where's the toy? The feds would like to request Lamar as the interpreter. But Lamar? What does possibly mean to sex the defendant? But she'd be interpreting for the defendant. Why would she lie? This is most unusual. <laughs> Bravo, her forehead. The judge, the prosecutor, agrees with the friends who come. The Lamar lies, I believe, to tell. In my name, to know that the flag should be enough for that. Well, if possible, the prosecutor and the friends are for this. I see they so call some refusal. Finally, some progress. Good, perfect grace. Very much. Please show the friends and Lamar to the witness stand. Episode there is the first time for everything. Shall we proceed? Your name to begin with. 
Do you want Lama? Yes. I said it's Monkey Bear, but the offended. Hmm, this is certainly your first one to call. Not that we need uh, to take your that message in the picture. So far, so good. Very well. This is also if you would. Oh, if I would, what, Yon? What, what? You called the fender to the stand, did you not? What do you would like to testify about that? What do I want to testify about? I, I haven't thought of that far yet. Apollo, aren't you going to ask what he was about to tell us yesterday? How can I if I don't know what he was saying? Excuse me, a moment, if I may see. Yes, Lama? Just now, Maki said there was something he wished to test us, which is to test Maki wants to testify about something? What could it be? What kind of test are you talking about? A moment, please. Ah, the suspense is killing me. You could cut it with a knife. And a fork. And eat it. Like a cake. Mmm, now I just think about cake. What? 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 Well, Lama? According to Marky, he has proof of his innocence. What? What? This is a surprise. Yahoo! Victory of power! We did it! This is sadly too good to believe. And I know what that usually means. There's a lie. Well, if this is true, then this is my little testimony. Number I mean, Marchi. Two testimony to the court. Very well. With this testimony, proof of innocence. Next time. <laughs> See you guys then.